Hello everybody, this is Zarin Zephyr, and today, well, is going to be my last Yokai Watch video. I know it's been six years since my last Yokai Watch video, and Yokai hasn't really been a thing in the last couple of years. I know there was some other series and stuff, but I kind of stopped after, um, was it Treasure Set 2? Um, there's a lot of medals I didn't make videos on, um, especially in the... Um, uh, the USA medals and the, the Dream medals. Um, so I'm making this video today kind of like a final goodbye to Yokai Watch. Um, I know there's still a lot of viewers out there who really enjoy the series and with Yokai Watch 4 coming out to China, possibility that we might get it in the US, we don't know. So I'm making this video sort of as an update to my collection and where it's going. So just recently I got a message from um, someone who wanted to buy my collection and so I rushed out to storage. I got um, two giant totes um, that I had to pull out from storage and uh, he said he would buy everything except for my um, Western medals, the uh, the one that came here in the United States, uh, the Hasbro medals. So he wants to buy all the Japanese ones. So um, some, some of you have already seen this but some of you have not and so I want to share um, all the medals that I have here. Uh, these binders are not great because uh, the metals fall out. Uh, these are the Korean binders. Um, these these look fantastic, by the way. But luckily, sadly, we didn't get these in America or in Japan. Just kind of show some of the metals here. Uh, these guys were exclusives to a special set, so they were hard to get. We got them um, in America in a different way uh, through through like a Comic Con exclusive. Um, and then the series, uh, this would be, I forgot what this thing is called, series two or, uh, see it already fell down. It's okay, I'll fix it later. Um, and then here's some of the variants right here. The special foil -y looking ones. And so yeah, the, we got a buyer buying all this and it's really great. It's kind of brings back a lot of memories um, doing these videos for you guys. And I wanted to say thank you for all those who kind of stuck around and um, wanted more Yokai watch videos. Uh, so this right here is the most expensive uh, section right here. This is the legendary medals. Uh, you guys in the for the Western audience, these were obtained um, through blind packs, but in Japan, these were lottery items. So these these were like several hundreds of dollars. Um, at the time, they actually came in these uh, little paper, cardboard things. Sorry, my cat is having fun over there. Uh, so these were like special lottery items. And these were really hard to get. You couldn't get them any other way unless you find a seller to, or to, to sell them to you. But... Um, to most people, this might look like nothing, but these were incredibly hard to get. And going on to the next folder, it just continues on with the um, the regular medals until um, these are the special variants. Every set came with at least two or three special variants that I remember. And yeah, the question um, some of you might be wondering about the different colors. These these are the Korean ones, so they they made special ones for Korea only. I had to clear up some space over here because this. This folder is huge. Um, you can see right here, it is just, yeah, uh, there's a lot in here. I'm going kind of out of order, I did move everything. Um, this goes on to uh, USA and Dream Metals. So we got, how they did it was they released uh, USA Metals and Dream Metals. See, those are Dream Metals and the USA Metals. The American Yokai. Um, some of these are special ones, like I said, like Android Yamada came from a special set. Um, so, and then we go on to the next one, to Dream Zero Two, and then Case USA Case Zero Two, and then it just keeps going on. Um, like some of these um, yokai, uh, legendary yokai medals, they're in the set. Some of these do come from different things, like games or binders or folders. Like sometimes when you buy these folders, they come with um, those. Yeah, I didn't make videos on these, so like this might be news to some people. Um, 03 Dream and 
03 USA. And then I actually stopped at uh, Treasure 01. So these were, I made videos on these were the, the special green medals. Um, I, I forgot what set this was. Uh, this was like 04 or something like that. Um, yeah, this is 04. And then Dream 04. Uh, there were supposed to be Treasure ones, but I, I kind of stopped right there. I didn't want to collect anymore. <laughs> And then we get to the Dark Yokai. This was one of my favorite sets. This was fun. All the Dark Yokai. With the very creepy, like, eerie kind of weirdness. I made a video, you guys, on this already, so. And then we go to um, Song Metals. Oh no, this is, uh, this is Busters. Although we do the Song Metals. I didn't make a video on these. These had all these special medals. We even have like um, a McDonald's one right here. Uh, this this folder gets pretty large too. So here's all the, uh, the these are the U medals. And then um, some more U medals with the Enma medals that came with the um, the special toy. I have, I have that in a box, I'll show that in a little bit. And then more song medals. Yeah, it might be a little reflecty, but I don't have a studio anymore to record any of this. I got rid of that a long time ago. And then that's the last of the U medals, um, except for the last U medal I for totally forgot where it was actually the American medals. The first set of the American medals with a uh, Usapion, and then the last of the um, song medals. And then we go into like Busters and stuff. <laughs> um, this is Busters uh, 3 to 4 or something. I actually have my Busters medals in the Korean folder. So this is Busters 1. Right here. Oh, the, the first black medals before they made the Dark Yokai. I didn't know anything about this one. I think this is uh, special to Korea. Uh, these are the special variants of Jibanyan and Usapyeon. And then this is zero two. Yeah, the zero two came in this regular binder, so nothing too special here. I had more binders for the Busters ones. Um, these are this is the official Japanese one. Um, since the Korean one was a lot better, I stuck with that one. And then they made a the same kind of binder as the other one for Korea. I uh, made a video about this too, so it's just kind of blank. And then we go on to zero. Let's we skip zero. Um, zero was fun. I actually like the Yokai Watch Zero the most. Uh, out of actually all, all of all of them. Uh, well, Dream. I like Dream too. But um, and there's that. And then there's a special blue one. This, they all label in the end. Like I said, I made videos on these like six years ago. Um, and these are like special Gashapon uh, medals that I'm just including to the to the buyer as well. And then these ones are just empties. These were the original um, medallions that came with in Japan that you can get. So, and then I just got a stack of papers and stuff that came with like all the slips. And then we go to the other fun stuff. Um, over here we had the uh, the Model U. And inside here was the Kakuse and my breath. I did a video with that with 101 Leafy. I just rewatched that video recently. It was it was a trip down memory lane. Uh, Leafy and I are still good friends. Um, in this box, uh, we have the uh, Dream Watch. We have the Dark Yokai Watch. The San Diego Comic Con exclusive Julian set, I think. I think it was San Diego Comic Con. Uh, one of these is Korean. I forgot which one, um, but I got to take them out anyways. Oh, actually, I actually have three of them. I forgot. So we had like model U one, U two, and then type E. Uh, these are the American yokai, the the Hasbro ones. If you are wanting to buy them from me, uh, I will sell it. Uh, they come with the special UK medals as well. 
in all the Yo Motion Series 1 um, before they got all the French European exclusives. <clears throat> this is the Japanese Yokai Watch 1. This is the Fumi Chan edition. This is the Korean Type 0. And then whatever this was, and it, I was going to make a video on this. Like this is where Yokai Watch got really weird to me because I, when I look at this six years later, it, it, yeah, <laughs> I can't explain it because some of you might be kids, but um, yeah, um, there's that. <laughs> and then I had some novels. I bought. I go into the store and they had some medals in this. Um, I thought it was kind of cute. And this one had a medal too with gutsy bones and um. Went to the Japanese store oh, like many years ago when I got that. I, was, I thought it was kind of cute. Even though I can't read it, this app actually has, has like a lot of information on yokai medals, where they come from and how to get them. In Japanese, of course. And inside this tote is a mixture of GameStop exclusive uh, medals. Like, ugh, can't believe I bought that. I bought this, never opened it, because that's where the point where I thought Yokai Watch was getting very weird. Um, the Yokai Pad S, I thought this thing was fun. It was kind of cool for its time. Uh, an empty box of the Korean Yokai medals. And then, like I said, I did, I did videos for these already. These are the Korean um, boxes. Even have the Yokai, Yokai Blaster for the Dreamwatch, uh, the Enma Blade, fantastic video that I did. And then the watch bands, the U1, the U2, and the version E with Enma, my favorite one. And then I got some more stuff back here. It was, I forgot what this one came from. Um, like I said, this was the point where Yokai Watch was getting very weird to me and I didn't want to cover it anymore because I just got tired. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, getting rid of all of this, found a buyer who is wanting to buy all of this, and this was many years in the making. Like, it took me forever to buy these. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun, even though I got a lot of backlash for for what I did. Was trying to have fun making yokai watch videos. Um, all the common rider folks were. We're hating on me, and I'm, you know, understandably so. I kind of deviated from the path, but um, I was having fun. Yokai Watch was was a lot of fun. It was a different take to collecting, and my dedication to collecting things is, you know, was something I take a lot of pride in. A lot of research, making all those videos, and figuring out where to get things, especially when it's all in Japanese, <laughs> was kind of hard. So. I wanted to make this a kind of a, a last video for all of those who stuck around and saying goodbye to something I, I once loved, something that was to me was very fun. And I hope you guys either still watch or play with Yokai Watch or found something just equally as fun and you know, just remember to have fun collecting what you enjoy most and if someone says that's not cool well just ignore what they have to say continue on with what you want to do that's all that matters if as long as you're happy that's all that matters right so don't regret all the things that I've done for Yokai Watch even for Kamen Rider um, very thankful for the buyer buying all of this and I just want to thank all of you one more time for all the many wonderful years for Yokai Watch. So, with that said, I hope to see you guys maybe in a future video. I don't know. I rarely make videos since I'm now retired. But, yeah, even Luna says bye. So, see you guys in the next video.